Okay, my mouth is feeling dry already. I should probably drink some water. There's a really annoying noise going on outside. Let's pretend we can't hear that. Actually, it's not that loud, so you probably can't actually hear it, but I can, and it's really stressing me out. Let's pretend I didn't even just say that. Let's pretend I'm not even here. That's what my friends seem to do all the time. <laughs> Why the fuck is there a hair in my mouth? That's disgusting. Be gone. Yikes. Okay, I actually hate my life. Why are these in my pocket? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey guys, how are you doing? My name is Kami and welcome back to my channel. If you didn't know already, I got glasses because I can't actually see anything. Okay, anyway, let's get on with today's video. I've been through a lot this past week, and I just wanted to say thank you. I actually did hit 100,000 subscribers. Your boy made it. Your boy never even thought he'd get that far, but look at him now. Today's video is going to be emotional, but, like, I didn't want to have to make this video because I didn't actually think I'd hit 100,000 subscribers till like, 2017. So, yeah, today I'm going to be talking about, like, my story and what I've been through what I went through and just how I survived. I'm just going to be talking about my time in school and my time with YouTube and how I've actually managed to keep it up and like not quit. I've been through a lot of bullying and when I say that you're probably all thinking, fuck off you stupid little rat, you are not bullied, you're too much of a bitch to get bullied. Why the fuck do you think I'm a bitch now? It's because of that reason. So the question I get asked the most is when did I start making YouTube videos? I think I legit started when I was about 10 years old. Obviously I haven't been making videos on my Touch Delight channel for 7 years because if you go to my very first video which a lot of you have been doing recently and it's really pissing me off like please stop bringing it up. But yeah my first video is only like 3 years old or 4 years old. It must, no it's definitely 4 years old. Fuck that. It's it's nearly 5 maybe. I don't even know. But I pretty much used Touch Delight as a second channel because I had a lot of other main channels but they all managed to get hacked or just didn't really work out. The most subscribers I ever got on one of my channels was about 600 subscribers and I was pretty happy of that. <laughs> like if you think about 600 people in your house, that's a lot of people. And here I am with 100k, like everyone come party at my house, let's fucking get all wasted. I'm kidding, I don't do bad things like that. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> I'm a child of God. That's complete bullshit. God fucking hates me. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying, like I've been, I've honestly done YouTube videos for so long now, but obviously my videos weren't amazing back then. They still aren't amazing. I don't know why I'm pretending they're amazing right now, because they're absolute fucking shit. But if you are watching this video right now, I just want to say I love you. You mean the world to me. Give me a big, fat, ugly hug. The reason I'm actually still using my Touch Delight channel was because I liked the username. I think I was around 11 or 12 when I created this YouTube channel and I was just thinking like, I want to be cool. I want people to look at my username and be like, whoa, like what does that mean? Like who is that? It means fucking shit all and it, it's me. Honestly, it's fucking shit. Touch Delight doesn't actually mean anything personally. Actually, can I just get something out there? If you fucking call me Touch Daylight or Touch Delight, I will fucking punch you in the face, bitch. I fucking hate it when people get my username wrong. It's not fucking hard. Da light. Da light. Not D light. Or daylight, bitch. Nothing. It's da. Anyway, I'm gonna stop being angry because I feel like I'm coming off as quite aggressive now. But yeah, my username doesn't mean anything. But like, I like it when people like touch delight. It's funny because like, it's my, I don't know. It's just a fun thing to do. Like, touch delight. But yeah, I was making videos in year eight, I think. And I didn't have loads of friends. I I don't really know why I didn't because I was quite the cute guy. I'm kidding. Okay, I hate myself. But I think in year nine was when everything kicked off with the whole YouTube and like people finding out and like I started like making more friends for some reason. I think some people found my YouTube cool and then some people hated it. But I genuinely know people hated my YouTube, which is kind of sad actually. Like I did nothing wrong to them and like people hate me. It's like, uh. But in year nine, I started telling my friends that I'd made videos and they kind of, they didn't really understand and they still probably don't even understand but like it was just something I loved to do, it was a hobby I enjoyed doing it so I carried it on like I got bullied by people in my year but I didn't really take it personally because they were the same age as me and it's like you're irrelevant, like I couldn't really give a shit about you anyway but it was when people one year above me and two years above me started like walking past me at school and kind of pushing me, shouting names at me calling me touch to light in the fucking classroom 
restrooms, bathrooms, literally anywhere I went, I just got like attacked. The reason I'm like laughing about it now is because I just wish I was a bigger person back then. I was so young, I wasn't gonna stick up to people two years above me. I'm not that person. But yeah, I did get bullied so much and it's just like thinking about it now, it actually makes me kind of sad because like me getting bullied that much at school caused me to have social anxiety. The funny thing is, I found out I had social anxiety about a week ago. About a week ago. Yeah, I basically found out I had social anxiety about a week ago because um, I talked to my friends about it and I'm, I was kind of just like mentioning this kind of video and like what I'll be talking about and they all kind of just seemed to say that they knew I had it. I was like, okay bitch, why the fuck didn't you tell me? I personally didn't even know what anxiety was. Like, I don't know what any of that stuff means. And if you guys don't think I had social anxiety, like fair enough, but like I feel like I actually did have it because I was very nervous to like go out in public and speak to new people. I was scared to order food in a restaurant. I was scared to buy my own clothes in a shop. I would literally make my friends do it for me. I would never ever travel anywhere by myself. I was always so scared. But now I'm literally going on holiday by myself. I literally vlog in public. I buy whatever the fuck I want. I can do it by myself. I order my own food now. It's like I've just grown up so much and YouTube has helped me so much and people just don't understand why or how. I I honestly can't thank you guys enough for watching me on your screens. It makes me feel so uncomfortable because what well, the fuck, it's actually kind of weird, but like, I fucking love it. But I just want to say, if you are a person watching me right now, whatever age you are, and you want to start YouTube, fucking do it. Do it right now. I can honestly tell you now, if you are thinking about it, it means you want to do it. Just film yourself talking, edit it, and upload it to YouTube. Done and dusted. Your first YouTube video is up. You could be the next Joe Sug or the next Zoella. Like, <laughs> it's cool. Just a word of advice though, if you do want to start making YouTube videos, be yourself because it's not going to work otherwise. Actually, I could name a lot of fake YouTubers who have made it, so I guess you don't really have to be yourself to like get big on YouTube. So yeah, that's kind of backfired on me. I don't really know what to say right now. But if you want to basically be my YouTube friend, just be yourself. <laughs> but yeah, I've just gone through so much like awkward times about my YouTube stuff. Like, I genuinely did get bullied and I've gone past it like people actually stopped bullying me when I started getting like a thousand views on each of my videos like people started like realizing that people were watching me and it just gave me this like confidence to like do whatever I wanted I've gained so much confidence from YouTube you don't understand and I wouldn't be in the position I'm in if it wasn't for all of you watching right now which makes me so happy but yeah my time with YouTube was a hard struggle but like I fought through it and I'm here now. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've really wanted to talk about. I just wanted to tell you what I've been through and like where where I am now. Like I hope it inspires some of you to just start your own YouTube channel. It would just make my life if someone on YouTube was just like, yeah, I've started this YouTube channel because Touch Delight inspired me. Like that would make my heart warm. It would just make me happy. But I don't know. I just want to say like have fun with life. Like don't take it too seriously because that's very boring. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I've said thank you so many times in this video. I just want to tell you I am genuinely happy. That's all that really matters but like if my haters want me to kill myself then maybe in a few years time I will. You never know. But yeah that's basically it. I just want to thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy it please give it a big thumbs up because it makes me happy. Follow me on all my social media sites. The links will be in the description. But yeah I have to actually go to the dentist now so I'm low-key depressed. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs> but no legit thank you all so much. I love you so much.